been watching Air Guns Extreme. <laughs> Big boy, big balls on it. Dude, did you hear them hawks? Yeah, the squirrel, I walked right past them. The hawks flew right over the top of my head. And they were, you remember when they were calling? That's, that's why they were, they noticed I was right above them or under them. Then next you know, I'm getting ready to go sit down. I look up in a tree. Boom, there's one sitting right there. I got like 40 yards out and boom, pulled the trigger. Yeah, dude, but they're now starting to pop out. I saw, just as I was coming this way, I saw two that were booking, though, but they were running because of them hawks, but. What? 
Oh, I know, I was getting ready to sit down. This guy was up in a tree just looking at me. But I got, I got it on the GoPro. It's kind of cool. Like, dude, he was up at the very top of the tree, too. Just sitting. But. Alrighty, then. Alright, my. Basically, what happened there was, I, here's how it started. I was sitting way the heck over there, and um, um, basically, I heard two squirrels barking, freaking out, and then, you know, here comes hawks coming over, and they start chirping. They saw this guy sitting, and... I just didn't know exactly where they were at at that time. But I could see the hawks flying and they kept doing circles right in the same spot. So I knew by them having doing circles and calling that there was going to be a squirrel right there. Anyways, I start walking and they're calling again. I'm thinking, uh, they're probably just calling. There's going to be no squirrel. Next thing you know, I'm coming to this log right here. This log. Just sit down. Stanley's got two by just sitting. So he told me just to sit down. So I sit down, just getting ready to take my gun off my shoulder. I turn and I look. Right over there. Here's a squirrel sitting halfway up the tree. I hit like, at almost like towards the top of it. I put the bead right on him. I go to this brush and <clears throat> I almost fall. And then you guys will actually see it in the clip. Before I shot, you guys will hear a clunk. I pretty much almost fell and he was freaking out, looking up at them hawks. Didn't even notice I was gonna shoot. I pull the trigger and boom, he just falls. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to sit and be quiet for the rest of the time and see if we get any more. But there was two of them barking, so I don't know if the other one saw me and took off running. But that guy stayed up in a tree. Big old boy. I uh, he's gonna be pretty good eating. Um, Headshotted him, so he's gonna have to go in a bag because I don't want to get blood all over my bag right now. So, but uh, 
Anyways, guys, they are moving now. It's 11 o'clock, and they're out moving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop you guys for a little bit, sit, and hopefully bring another one out. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get another one. I got to beat my record of two, so I got to work hard here for the next hour. So, anyways, guys, see. How far up? What tree? There's two. This one right here. Oh, hi. Huh? I know I got time. He's up there. I see him. No, not that tree. That one. There he is, right there. Back up. You can see him in the crotch. He's actually, his foot's hanging right, right up there. Go on the other side and we'll see him. What the fuck? Dude, they're so fucking hard to see. What the fuck? Where? I think. Where? Oh my god. Oh yeah. It's a red fox. Oh, does he keep fucking moving? Yeah, wait. Look at him. Right fucking follow this tree. Right up the fucking middle. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Oh, now I see it. Get a good shot. Go on the other side. Head shot. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now I lost him. Let's, I'll just shoot up at his. There he is. There he is. Got him. First squirrel I shot was in this kind of tree. I know they like these kind of trees. You know what those are? What kind of trees these are? Walnut trees. He's probably little male. That's bigger than the other one. Them are walnut trees? Yeah. They love them.